I will be showing you how to go from this to this. I will be comparing and benchmarking each major setting for graphics and performance differences so you can better optimize the game for your system and I will be giving you my optimized settings as well. Let's start with the CPU performance and I am happy to say that this is a surprisingly very well optimized game. Throughout my whole experience testing the game, I didn't encounter one single stutter or hiccup, and the CPU performance across the board was very high, and the frame times were very smooth. An old budget CPU like the R5 3600X averages in the high 80 FPS range with the 1% lows hovering over 60 FPS. That says it all right there. Now let's get into the settings. Starting with resolution upscaling. Native 1440p looks a bit soft and some details are lost, while FSR quality looks a bit sharper and preserves more details. However, DLSS quality looks a bit too sharp in my opinion, but it preserves details much better than FSR. As for their quality in motion, native looks surprisingly stable, but suffers from some slow trilling on the grass here. FSR suffers from some shimmering in motion, but surprisingly doesn't suffer from any noticeable ghosting or trailing so far. DLSS quality also suffers from some shimmering, but it is much lighter than on FSR. While DLSS looks to be the best choice here, FSR is very close on its tail. Object quality controls the detail and draw distance of trees and objects, and this setting can have a large impact on the game's image quality and performance. Each option noticeably and gradually increases draw distance. Low and medium can have some pretty severe pop-in, while high is a great improvement, while not costing performance that much, and anything higher severely tanks performance. So, high is my optimized setting. The particles setting controls whether particles are rendered or not, and their amount. In this scene, we can see that the fog on the ground is not present on low, and each option higher gradually increases the effects. It also controls the particles on the torches, where on low and medium they are not present, and each option higher increases their amount. While the performance impact is pretty much negligible, I would still recommend using Ultra just to be on the safe side. The lighting setting adjusts the quality and quantity of lights and the lower settings can sometimes entirely remove these lights from the scene or have a very short draw distance for them. But higher settings can drop FPS a bit. It depends entirely on the scene. Therefore, my recommended setting is high. Global illumination has a very subtle impact to the image quality while having a large impact to the game's performance, depending on the scene. This is consistent across the whole game, both indoors and outdoors, according to my testing. I have found that medium seems to offer the best balance to save you some performance. Post-process quality is supposed to adjust the quality of bloom, depth of field, and motion blur. But in my testing, I have found no visual or performance difference between the options. Keep this on ultra for now. Shader quality controls a lot of different things. For example, water quality on low looks atrocious, without any surface animations, while medium and higher do and each option higher seems to have slightly more blurry reflections towards the edge of the shore. It doesn't necessarily look any better, just different. It also controls shadow filtering and parallax occlusion. My recommended setting is high for the best balance. 
Shadows on low look undefined and bland, while higher options look more defined and gradually add more shadows to the game's environment and increase their distance. Higher options can severely tank performance in this game, depending on the scene. And speaking of, the performance drop is even worse in some interiors. My recommendation is medium for the best balance. The texture setting gradually increases texture quality and filtering. However, the VRAM usage is the same across all options. Perhaps the game handles VRAM usage independently of the setting. I found that the experimental option looks the best without performing any differently or using any more VRAM. But make sure to test this on your system to be sure. The volumetric effects detail setting makes fog look undefined on low, while each option higher gradually increases definition. This setting is also supposed to control the cloud quality, but in my testing, it seems like it doesn't have any effect on clouds, just the fog, and it still tanks performance on higher options. Therefore, I recommend medium for the best balance. The vegetation detail setting controls the draw distance of grass and small plants. On low, the draw distance is unacceptable, and on medium it starts looking acceptable, and higher options gradually increase the draw distance, while in still shots, like this one, it seems that even on higher options, the draw distance is very short. However, when you actually play the game, even on medium, you won't notice any popping for like 99% of the time. And this is while gaining a decent amount of performance, which is why medium is my recommended setting. The character detail setting is supposed to control the level of detail and view distance of NPCs. However, in my testing, I couldn't find any difference, both in image quality or performance. Just put this one on ultra to be safe. And these are the optimized settings. I would like to give a special shout out to Philip for being my first supporter on Patreon. Thank you so much Philip. If you like my content and would like to help me keep making more, you can do so directly by supporting me on Patreon. You can do so by going to patreon.com slash psychopath or the link in the description. Now let's take a look at performance. The game at native 1440p using the experimental settings is without a doubt very demanding. No wonder they named this preset experimental. Dropping down to the ultra settings finally gives us playable frame rates, but they are still not enough for me. Using the optimized settings at native 1440p using the RTX 3060 gives us a big boost in performance and gets us surprisingly close to the 60 fps mark but still not quite there using dlss quality finally gives us a buttery smooth experience with the game averaging around 70 fps and taking a look at the one percent lows they are at around 60 fps or so even the frame times are silky smooth across all settings which tells us that this game is incredibly well optimized and highly scalable. Everyone, including me, was surprised by its optimization, considering the first game had terrible performance and lots of stuttering issues. So, what do you guys think about its performance?